Yo, what up guys, Gio Quinto here, and in today's Super Smash Bros. Ultimate video, I'm going to be showing you how to unlock Isabelle. We can unlock Isabel in classic mode by playing under the Pikachu unlock tree. What's an unlock tree? When you launch up classic mode in Smash Bros. Ultimate for the first time, you'll only be able to play as the Nintendo 64 default traditional characters, Pikachu being one of those. So by beating classic mode as Pikachu, we look at the second character on this list and the first secret character that we'll unlock with Villager. By playing as Villager, we unlock Shulk, Shulk then unlocks Rob, Rob unlocks Mega Man, Mega Man unlocks Isabelle, Isabelle unlocks Mr. Game & Watch, and Mr. Game & Watch unlocks Pichu. So long story short, we want to play through classic mode as quick as possible, and the best way to do this is by setting our difficulty to the easiest setting, which is zero when you boot up classic mode for the first time. You're going to do this every time you play as a new character. This does not affect the encounter rates for the characters and it does not affect the quality or the order. When you get to the bonus game, you could just run off to the left and jump inside of the black hole. If you don't care about rewards, this is going to save you some additional time. You'll then proceed to beat the final boss. When you beat the final boss, you're going to skip through the credits. You're going to see your end game bonus and reward screen. And then after that screen will be challenged by a secret character. So as you can see, I skipped ahead to Rob, which is the fourth character in our tree. So by playing as Rob, as I said earlier, we're going to unlock the opportunity to battle Mega Man. As you can see here, Mega Man got the best of me and beat me. So you're probably wondering, well, what happens when I restart classic mode as Rob? That tree is going to continue. And I'm going to show you my end character result when I play through as Rob again. Isabel was the one who showed up for me and I ended up losing to her too. So now if you lose to secret characters in classic mode, where do they go? They're going to show up in the games and more menu to the bottom right in an exclusive mode called Challenges Approach. Now you may or may not have this glowing door. When you lose to a secret character, to get this door to show up, you need to play a total of 10 minutes in game playtime. So you could launch a 10 minute versus, you could play a few runs of classic mode, and then you're gonna go under games and more and look to the bottom right for that door. What I love about this is not only can you rematch and get redemption against a character that you lost to, you can pick a character from your pool that may better fit beating this person. So for Isabel's case, I figured, you know what, let me go with somebody who has a little more reach and is much faster, just because I feel like that's what I need to take her on and take her out so I can unlock and play with her. Now, if you lose to a character in Challenges Approach, you're just going to go do something in game for once again, that 10 minute span, and then the door should reappear again. So in the end, the most important thing that we want to remember is the more secret characters you unlock, the more difficult they're all going to get. So just keep that in mind as you're playing through this game in its entirety, unlocking characters. And that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this one, definitely feel free to leave a like and check out the rest of these Smash videos on my channel. And if you enjoy my content, definitely feel free to sub too. This has been Gia. Have a good night, guys. Later.